Is it possible for me to know a woman in the biblical sense? Are we talking about sexual intercourse? I think so. In the Oscar-nominated film The Sessions, a paraplegic man hires a sex surrogate to lose his virginity. Tough topic to tackle, but necessary, says Dominic Webb, 48 and single. He wants you to know he's got a good sex life. Sometimes people think that you're too vulnerable um, or that there is no particular desire there, but both those facts are wrong, really. Dominic is paralyzed from the shoulders down after a spinal cord injury. He can't have sex, but he still thinks about it. So, like the film The Sessions, he hired a sex therapist. She's given me a lot of confidence um, and helped me realize that it's important to try and make the most of what you've got. Meet Sue Newsom. We tend to focus on the primary erogenous zones, mm -hmm. um, lips, nipples and genitals, which, I mean, for good reason, they're great, <laughs> but the whole body has the capacity for pleasure. Teaching people to be really mindful about how they use these. Mm -hmm. For Dominic, she created something she calls the multi-sensual massage. She's using smells uh, and sounds above my shoulders, really. Is that that's the area that I can actually still feel and move. Um, and so she was scratching my head and kissing me and cuddling um, and stroking me. And it was surprisingly um, enjoyable. I'm not a prostitute. You don't have to pay me up front. And there's a limit to the number of sessions we can have. The limit is six. Shall we get undressed? As in the sessions, paying for sexual services through sex surrogates or sex therapists is more common than you may think, says Dominic. How do you think people feel? Are they uncomfortable with that concept? I think that people are uncomfortable with the concept, um, but I do feel that it's important that those needs are satisfied, and that seems to be the best way of doing it. Both Sue and Dominic hope the film will change the way people think of disability and sex. My penis speaks to me, Father Brendan. Yes, they have sexual needs, and those needs can be met. I think that has been that has been a surprise for people, and I think it's, I think it has caused people to, really, it stopped them in their tracks. She's a sex therapist. Today, they're working on simultaneous orgasm. What's that? As the sessions points out, for many of us, there may be plenty to learn from the disabled. Oh God. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.